Hello and welcome to this video. This is our Christmas tree. This is the third year that we've had it. It's gotten a bit taller in that time because this is a live tree. It's a Scots pine, which is fitting because my name is Scott. And it's lovely to have a living, growing tree in our home at Christmas time. But why do we have Christmas trees? Where did it all come from? How did it start? Today, we're going to talk about it. But first, why is Christmas Day on December 25th? Well, Christmas, as if you're in a Western country probably know, is when Christians celebrate the birth of Jesus. So is December 25th Jesus' birthday? Probably not. The Bible doesn't mention the birth date of Jesus, so we don't know what date he was born on. So where did we get December 25th from? Well, it comes from somewhere around the 2nd or 3rd century AD. Early Christians didn't celebrate Jesus' birth. It wasn't until a couple of hundred years later when people started. And this kind of date was co-opted. Christmas, as in the celebration of the birth of Jesus, probably originated in Rome in the second or third century AD, where there are a few Roman festivals during this time, mainly Saturnalia, which was the celebration of the Roman god Saturn, which was celebrated from December 17th to December 25th and involved feasting and gift giving, which might sound familiar if you celebrate Christmas, but it also included gambling and was an essentially lawless time, meaning that very often serious crimes went unpunished. There was also the winter solstice, which in Rome was considered to be December 25th. The winter solstice being the shortest day of the year, where the daylight hours stop shrinking and begin growing as the approach of spring begins. All over the ancient world, the winter solstice was celebrated, often as though the sun was reborn or began to regain its strength. So for the early Christians, we guess it made sense to just kind of co-opt this date to celebrate Christmas. The first recorded Christmas was in 336 AD, but it was likely to have been going on for some time beforehand, but just wasn't recorded. It's hard to say, history is difficult. So the early Christians wanted a more meek celebration than the wild lawlessness of Saturnalia, and instead of celebrating the sun, celebrating the birth of the sun, of God. So that's why Christmas is on December 25th, but why do we have Christmas trees? Again, it's hard to say exactly when it began happening because people didn't always write things down, but it's likely to have happened around a thousand years after Christians started celebrating Christmas. The way Christmas has been celebrated around Europe wasn't uniform. There were lots of different traditions and different celebrations thrown in. In Germany in the Middle Ages, it was common to hold the Feast of Adam and Eve on December 24th, in which it was fairly common for the creation story to be told or acted, and evergreen trees decorated with apples were often used to depict the Garden of Eden. Trees, by the way, have been used by religious, for religious images in many, many cultures around the world, and using evergreen trees isn't a uniquely Christian thing either, but they were used during this celebration and were called paradise trees after the Garden of Eden. But paradise trees weren't necessarily Christmas trees. According to Christian legend, it was Martin Luther, yes, the one who nailed his 95 theses to the door of the church in Wittenberg, which kind of started the Protestant Reformation. Uh, it's legend that he was walking through the woods one evening around Christmas time, where he was captivated and inspired by an evergreen tree, so much so that he cut it down took it to his own home for his family to enjoy and decorated it with candles to represent the Christmas night sky. How lovely. That's the legend anyway. Whether or not it's true, it's recorded that by 1605 trees were being chopped down, brought inside and decorated with coloured paper, fruit and candles for Christmas. Christmas trees were established. Since then, the tradition of having a Christmas tree travelled around Europe slowly, but mostly being used by the Dutch and Germans. That was until 1846, where sketches of Queen Victoria and her husband, Albert, who was German, and their children gathered around a Christmas tree in Windsor Castle. 
were published in the paper. The royal family, especially throughout this period of history, were hugely influential. So it were only natural that the people of the UK began enthusiastically putting up their own Christmas trees in their home. It was a slower uptake in the US, but by the 20th century, it was becoming well established. The first national Christmas tree lighting ceremony took place on the White House lawn in 1923. And that pretty well brings us to modern day. During the late 19th and then 20th centuries, fake trees became more popular, starting out as being made of goose feathers and then later on plastic and other materials. But still, many millions of trees are cut down to be used as Christmas trees each year. There are Christmas tree farms, but it's also not uncommon for people to source their trees from the wild, which, as you can imagine, doesn't have the most sustainable outcomes. But Christmas trees are here to stay. One of the first things that come to mind when you mention Christmas are the Christmas trees that we decorate and put presents underneath. And I think it's a fun tradition and I love that people have been participating in, in it for many hundreds of years and we are continuing to do so today. I'd love to know what you use as your Christmas tree. I'm especially fond of the growing movement of people just decorating one of their house plants as an alternate Christmas tree. And I, of course, am fond of the Christmas tree that I am currently using. There's a kind of you know, large bonsai. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found the brief in history of Christmas trees interesting. As you know, I think trees are pretty cool and that of course extends to Christmas trees. I'd love to know what kind of tree you are using if that's something that you do. Please post it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, you might enjoy my other ones. I invite you to check them out and consider subscribing to That's Pretty Cool. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, stay curious, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you next time.